welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about delete and keep option in solid works I have taken a simple circuit board. Usually, when we import any circuit board into our model, then we have a number of dumb solids and surfaces. Suppose you want to delete any of the component, then we should not use straight away delete option because if you want to use this model further then you can't use it once you delete it so to avoid such problems we have to use so we have to go to insert features and delete keep body option and we have to select any component to delete So the component is removed. Suppose if I unsuppress it, so it returns to its original position. So that is the advantage. See RJ11 solid. Now once I suppress it here, unsuppress it. The component is, is get deleted, but the dumb solid lies here. So we can retain whenever we want it. Sometimes there are n number of dumb solids. We want only a particular component, suppose a 9 pin connector. Then what we have to do is go to insert, keep delete, select this component and keep option. See, rest of the components are deleted except this. See, the advantage is that we can save as a new file, like pack and go or save as file, and we can rename it as 9 pin connector. So, that is the advantage. So, this option is mostly applicable when we import any assembly file through. IGS format or staff format or parasolid or sometimes when we save assembly file in part format then when we open this part format we get the dumb solids all the assembly files as dumb solid then we can use this option so this is brief about delete and keep bodies option thank you